The Ennerdale Mill Weir Removal is a project undertaken by West Cumbria Rivers Trust in partnership with the Environment Agency and Natural England and it forms part of the Cumbria River Restoration Strategy which is a flagship environmental improvement partnership. The weir itself is about 250 years old and has been proven to be failing over the last 15 to 20 years through extensive monitoring undertaken by West Cumbria Rivers Trust in partnership with ACOM. The reason we're taking the weir out is it's a significant barrier to both upstream and downstream migration of Atlantic salmon and other fish species. Adult salmon struggle to swim upstream because of the barrier, but also the juvenile salmon, which are called smolts, will also struggle to get over it and get downstream when they try and return back to the sea. I'm Ben Fisher, Project Manager for Ebsford Environmental. Today is quite a special day as we're removing a 3 metre long, 500 mil deep section of the weir. This will allow the river to slowly adjust to its new levels. We've been on site now for about four weeks, moving materials and building the majority of the downstream rapid feature. This is important because it's locking the weir in place for the demolition phase and allows a safe working platform for the machinery. We've used aquadams to temporarily divert water away from the area that's been notched so that works can take place in the dry. This diversion will protect the downstream freshwater mussel population from the finer gravels and sediment that sits upstream of the weir. Turbidity levels of the water are being checked regularly, with in-river works temporarily stopping once the accepted tolerances have been reached. In addition to this, and as a bit of a final measure, strategically placed silt entrapment mats have been positioned on shallow stretches just before the known location of the mussels. We will be allowing the river levels to adjust over the weekend before beginning the remainder of the demolition works next week. In three weeks time, the entire wheel will be gone and will be replaced with two new natural looking rapid features, allowing fish passage once again.